Okay, ballers, welcome back, and today it's going to be a little story time. Recently, I was on vacation with my grandma to St. Augustine, Florida, the um, North America's oldest town, and we did a lot of fun things, and I went to the Ripley's Believe It or Not ghost tour, and at the end, they told us the story, the original story of the Ripley's Believe It or Not before the original building was a home for people like the wealthy people there was this family that lived there and it was called um something castle i don't remember the specific name but you can look it up and it was really nice place so they wanted to turn it into a hotel for the wealthy so once they turned into the hotel only the richest could go there it was a really nice place for the snowbirds the people that came during the winter so the story is, and this is a true story, and there's some creepy parts in it. So um, the story is, there was a man that checked in called Mr. X. That was not his real name. That's what he used for a specific reason, which we will be coming up later. And he also, so he checked in. His He was on the third floor. On one side of the hotel, so the hotel is a square. He was staying about right here on the corner. So then he checked in his girlfriend, which was not very rich. She wasn't, I don't want to call her poor, but she wasn't rich. He checked her in on the exact opposite side of the third floor. So imagine a hotel. You're on one side, and then your friendly neighbor, I guess, is on the other side. So they were dating, but they were on a, the exact opposite sides. So, um, this story starts now. So he, hmm, how how would I say this? He basically liked his girlfriend, but he really didn't want anyone else to know that they were dating. That's why he checked her in across the the hotel. So one um, early morning, it was Easter Sunday, actually, a long, long time ago. Um, she, a lot of people were either at church or eating breakfast in the dining hall. Well, they were not. So she came over to Mr. X, which no one knows his name. He disappeared after that. Um, but she came over to his room and said, well... Can we announce that we are dating? And he did not like that one bit. Not one percent. He was not happy at all. He didn't want to tell anybody that they were dating. Because he didn't want to be caught dating with a poor girl when he is wealthy. He was a very rich man. So, he just didn't want to do with it. He got angry and choked her. When she came in, told him that... He grabbed her by the neck, started choking her, and then he wrapped her head with a wet towel and tied the knot on the left side of her neck, like a rope around the knot. So then um, he was dragging her body through the hall, going to his room, I mean her room, to put her in the bathtub. While he was doing that, um, he heard a door slam, and he knew somebody saw him. There was a man on the second floor, and since I was in the building, the original building, which is now a Ripley, believe it or not, museum, but, like, in this room, you could look up, and it was, like, this big room with, like, just different stores, story. so there was the first floor, and in this store, and there was a staircase, like in this big just open room and you could see up to the third floor because the stairs lead it up he saw mr x dragging his girlfriend's dead body okay he slammed the door which one is not a good idea because if you ever see somebody dragging a dead body just slightly close the door don't make any noise don't let him know that you were there that was his first mistake mr x came down knocked on the door Okay, now, you, we would all be assuming this man would be hiding. 
would not open the door. No, no surprise, he opened the door, and he did not get killed. Mr. X, whatever he said, no one knows what he said. Um, I'm just going to assume that he said, if you tell anyone or if you don't leave now, you'll be next. Something around that. No one knows what he said, but whatever he said, the man that Mr. X said to him, he ran right out the door. He went down the stairs, checked out, and left the hotel. And after that was never known again. Like, no one ever knew him, found him, talked to him. So Mr. X took his girlfriend, brought her up to her bathtub, plopped her in. Now, there is a girl on the fourth floor that he was staying on the third floor. But there was a girl on the fourth floor, which was a close friend to the owners that own the house, right? So the girl on the fourth floor, her husband was very abusive to her, like beat her up and was not very nice. So she really didn't want to go home to him sometimes. So the owners of the hotel let her stay on the penthouse on, on the fourth floor. So Mr. X realized that this girl was being very suspicious. And she didn't see him, but he wondered if she did. So he went up there and killed her too, did the same exact thing. Strangled her, wrapped her in a wet towel, put a knot on her left neck, her left side of her neck, which I thought was really weird, like why would he kill them the exact same way? So then there's a reason why he put them both in the bathtub, had the, them wrapped around in um wet paper towel, but the weird thing is, they were not related, and in his plan, you will understand why people would think they were related. So, he went downstairs, and there's this certain type of lamp back in the days that had fire in it. If you kicked it over, it could start a fire, but it wasn't very good in house fires. So, he tried to kick it over and make a fire. Here's the reason why he did. He wanted to make it look like the two dead girls were trying to protect themselves from the flames and fumes of the fire by protecting their heads. But they were not related, so why would they do the exact same thing with the left knot wrapped around the head and be in the bathtub, right? The fire did not work. It was a very tiny fire, about like two flames and barely any smoke. Fire didn't go well, but the firemen had to come. So... Of course, the firemen started at the top, made, made their way down. They found both of the dead girls, and it, it, his excuse was that they were trying to protect themselves. That's what everybody thought, but they were not related, so why would they do the exact same? Mr. X never got caught, but we know that he did it. But back then, he never got caught. And here's the weird thing for me. What I don't understand is the people that knew the girl on the first floor that were friends with her that let her stay in that penthouse, they were so close with that girl, like almost family, that they displayed her dead body for four days after she was killed, which is nasty. And think about it. This is like around 1800s or 1900s. There was no air conditioning. So imagine just a dead body sitting in the glass box with no air conditioning, just sitting there. Imagine how bad it smelled. And this was for the rich. And you would walk in into the lobby and see a dead girl right there, which is really weird to me. But, yep, that is story time. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a nice comment. Please help me out. I really need it. And peace.